All right, guys, now it's time to install the part designed to keep your car going down the center of your lane. That's the steering cable. There are a lot of parts in the steering cable bag, starting with the cable itself and the cable adjuster, a quarter by two and a quarter elevator bolt, three sizes of lock washers, two sizes of eye bolts, a quarter inch cable clamp, three sizes of nuts, cable pulleys, and quarter inch by one and a quarter inch fender washers. Okay, so the cable pulley is gonna involve a little bit of sub-assembly in this area right here. Start by inserting one of the elevator bolts through the floorboard bottom, then press it through the floorboard. Then place a fender washer on the elevator bolt on top of the floorboard. Now install a quarter inch nut on the bolt and draw it flush with the bottom of the floorboard. Then remove the nut. On top of that goes the cable pulley topped by a quarter inch lock washer and a quarter inch nut. Tighten the nut, then repeat those steps for the second pulley. Our next sub-assembly is going to be the axle eye bolt. Start by installing a 1024 nut on the 1024 by 2 inch eye bolt. Tighten the nut to the end of the threads on the eye bolt. Insert your eye bolt assembly through the driver's side of the front axle at the eye bolt location. Now place a number 10 lock washer on the bolt, then a 1024 nut, and tighten the whole assembly. After that, repeat those steps for the second eye bolt assembly. Okay, we're ready to assemble the cable adjusters. First, put an 832 nut on the 832 by 1 and 5 8 eye bolt. Then insert the eye bolt through any of the three holes in the inside of the cable adjuster and just push it through. There you go. Put a number 8 lock washer on the eye bolt along with an 832 nut, but don't completely tighten the assembly. You'll make some adjustments to this down the road in step 11. Now repeat these steps for the second cable adjuster assembly. Cool. All right, guys, we've got this cable. It's going to be in your steering cable. But before we start the sub-assembly for the steering cable, we need to go ahead and find the center point of this right here. How do you suppose we would do that? Fold it. Fold it in half. You guys are smart. All right. So we'll just take the two ends. We'll line them up with each other. Okay. Make sure that we get all the slack out of the cable. And that's going to give us the dead center. And we'll take that pair of pliers if you want, Gavin, and just crimp it. There we go, we'll turn it sideways. Nice. Maybe one more time at the tip. Crimp it like that. All right, trust you not to get my fingers. Now you're going to take the two loose ends of the cable and feed it through the lower hole in the steering shaft. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, can she do it? Pull the two loose cable ends through the hole until you form an eyelet at the center point of the steering cable. Now wrap one loose end around the shaft 180 degrees and thread it through the eyelet. After that, wrap the other loose cable end in the other direction around the shaft at 180 degrees from the first cable and thread it through the eyelet. Okay, now we're going to pull the slack out of those two loose ends and get it tight on the steering shaft like that. Excellent. Now one cable there again is going to go back around the back. Continue wrapping the first cable around the steering shaft one full wrap. That's 360 degrees. So the other one is going to go around the front and then through the back. Okay. <clears throat> now when you turn the wheel back towards the front of the car, that will put one piece of cable on either side of the brake plunger hole. And then center the steering wheel and temporarily clamp or have somebody hold it to keep it from turning. Now thread one cable around the steering pulley located on the brake steering mount. Then thread this cable through the outside of one of the two remaining holes in the cable adjuster and into the inside of the cable adjuster, pass the end of the cable through the eye bolt and inside the adjuster, then thread the cable through the remaining hole in the cable adjuster. After you've done that, thread one cable around the cable pulley located on the floorboard from the front of the pulley around over the cable, which is going to keep the tensioners down towards the floorboard and slide two quarter inch cable clamps on the cable end. You guys still holding on tight? Mm -hmm. From there, thread the cable through the front axle eye bolt assembly and insert the loose end of the cable back through both cable clamps. Pull the cables tight and use a 5 64th Allen wrench to tighten both cable clamps. You can place these clamps right next to each other with no space in between or leave a little space. And just repeat that process for the other cable, but be sure to check your plan book to make sure that your cable routing is the right way for the model car that you have.
Now you can adjust the steering cables by adjusting the eye bolts in the cable adjuster assemblies. After that, secure both of your cable adjusters by tightening both of the nuts. The adjusters can be located anywhere along the cable. Now you can just remove your temporary clamp, or if you've got a team like I do, you can just let go of the steering wheel. But be sure to test it, and what you want to do is while you're facing the front of the car, turn the wheel to the right. Make sure that your axle turns to the right. Just like that. That is awesome. We have moving parts now. Mm -hmm. This thing's really coming together. Mm -hmm. Excess steering cable is allowed to extend past the second cable clamp and can be removed by cutting and then taping off about a quarter of an inch on either side of the spot you'll cut. And this will just help keep you from having frayed edges or any sharp edges on the end of your cable. Then we're going to show you how to make further cable adjustments in step 11.